Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at critical path and critical path control. In this demonstration, we'll look at critical path and critical path control. So I'll first demonstrate critical path. So the critical path is the path in the project where there's zero slack. So slack means no wiggle room. So let's have a look at tables to have a look at this. So there's a view tab, tables, and the schedule table will show you your slack. And in this table, we can see that all tasks have got zero slack, except for one task. And that's task six. And this is because there's a start to start link with task four. So in effect, task six can do the work according to this schedule at a later date if it needs to, because it's got slack in it. So we're now going to turn on the critical path to link it to slack. So I'm going to go to the Gantt chart format tab, critical tasks under the bar styles section of the ribbon. And now we can see what project does with critical. It turns it red. And anything that's non-critical, it turns it blue and it remains blue. So we can see now that the one task with slack is blue and all the rest of zero slack is red. Now the issue with this would be the critical path is picked up here, particularly with all the reds, whereby one task is linked to another. So as one finishes, one starts. And if we look at first and second interview, We've got first interview finishing on a Monday in, in March and we've got a second interview starting on a Tuesday in March. Well, the chances of that happening are quite slim because you'd need time to select the candidates. So even though project shows critical, something that's not exactly accurate. Now we can control this and I've got another file to demonstrate this, which is called critical path control. And I'll now use this file. So it's the same idea, but this time we're going to delay the second interview by 10 working days to allow for first interview selection. So I'm going to add a constraint, double left click, advanced tab, start no earlier than, and I'm going to go for the, so this is due to start on the 1st of March 24. So it's a Friday, so I'm going to go forward to that date and I'm going to give it a delay of just over two weeks to, the, to a Monday. So I'm going to give that a delay until Monday the 18th. And I'm going to put in the notes and click OK. And there's the delay. There's the constraint in the note. So I can now see there's a delay. And if we turn on the critical path now at this point, We can see now that everything above the delayed task is now non-critical because we've built in Slack into the project. Hence the reason why all the tasks up until ID 12 are blue and those from 12, ID 12 onwards are red. If I were to go look at the schedule table, we can now see this Slack built in. So this demonstrates how the critical path works in project by linking tasks together, but, but also how to control the critical path by using constraints to put some delays in so you can manage the critical path according to your own requirements. This completes the demonstration on critical path and critical path control. See you on the next video.